Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Ready to see what that whittle was talking about? Well, it's not gonna happen right now. Instead, we're gonna go over to Cloudy Court Galaxy and get a star, and then you'll be able to see what the poop is going on over there. So here we go. Head in the clouds. Prepare for the cloud flowers return and we also got some wind elements to give you a tutorial on as well about said cloud flower uh, flower floating type thing i guess you could say by the way remember i said that you could stand on the yeah you can indeed stand on these briefly <laughs> they just they just disappear rather quickly but yeah beneath your feet but yeah <laughs> But it is possible to stand on them, <laughs> and you can also jump right off of them, as you've seen there. It's a little bit, a little bit difficult to do so because the timing is so precise. Oh, that one just—the <laughs> cloud wasn't fully formed when I landed on it. But all right, so let's take a look, see around here. Flap Tack is hanging out, having a good time along the this middle area where there isn't any sheer edges for it to fall to its doom, which is probably wise on its own part. <laughs> Uh, we got a dinosaur hanging out over here for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just carved into the clouds because why not? Do I need cloud flowers? Oh, well, I, I did there to recover, but I, do I really need cloud flowers to actually get through this? Probably for the long jumping potential. <laughs> Yeah, there wasn't really much to see there, though, so there's not really much to explore. At least I don't think there is. Can I, like... Nah, the camera isn't even gonna even gonna let me here. Alright, so about that wind ride... Woo! See, it goes in the direction of the wind. It also goes through other platforms, so be careful of that. <laughs> you don't want to be left without your cloud above a bottomless pit or something like that, so... Gotta be prepared for that coming. <laughs> and now we're on drums. Want to get some extra air? Do ground pound. <laughs> Just like uh, regular trampoline, basically. Uh, ah. Oh, 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 oh! Like a pro. <laughs> what about this? Oh, star bits! Yes! Yeah! So many star bits! Oh goodness! Oh, more star bits! <laughs> yeah, okay. Love that, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think you know what we need to do. Maybe I should check ahead of time how many coins I need to feed them. 30 coins. Okay, so I need to look for 30 coins in the future for a secret star. That is okay with me. There's plenty of coins to go by that I didn't really even pick up there. And see the cloud going through platforms? If you go underneath said thing when you're underneath said cloud, you won't be able to go through it. <laughs> see how that works? Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna do this for realsies. There's even some coins to collect here, which I could actually go back um, to replenish our hungry friend down there, but eh, eh, eh we're good. Uh, a whole bunch of paracumbas. Oh, my floaty jump here might actually come in handy. Because remember, when you're in cloud form, you have a floatier jump than usual. And that also... Ah, ah, poopers. Gives you a little more aerial control on your landing. Yeah. Ha! I'm here for the star bits more than anything. Ah. Well, okay, I'm, I'm sort of there to show you how to actually win those things, too, but mainly I go to those for the star bits. Leetok Doomba is completely avoiding my onslaughts. That's okay. And do it nice and high. And, oh, actually, I could go nice and low, too, to get the one up over there. Yeah, like a pro. If I wanted to. <laughs> Again, as I always say, lives. Not super, super useful in this game. <laughs> uh, anything to refill my cloudiness or not? I don't, don't even need to do that. I just do some fancy flips, and there we go. I can reach the box without a cloud. Yahoo, indeed! And checkpoint. Side scrolling time. So be warned, there be flying flowers of doom. 
I think there's actually something... Um... I thought there was actually something up here. I could be thinking of some other area, though. Not the first time I would confuse an area, let me tell you. <laughs> nah, I guess it's not here. Uh, I'm just gonna plop back down here, then. How's it going? Go down. Ride the wind. Okay. <laughs> Don't fall to your doom, though. There's probably a black hole or something down there, and it's not going to be friendly. Um, uh, let's just do some wall jumps up here, I suppose? Yeah, like a pro. Wait, maybe it was here that there was something. Yeah, that's where it was. <laughs> it wasn't the other side, it was there. And I'm out of clouds, I think. Oh! Yes, I was, but that still worked out. Uh, let's see here. Long jump. Whew. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man! That doesn't look safe at all. Oh jeez. Here we go! <laughs> There's our comet medal! Yeah! I bet you were waiting. I bet you were wondering where that was. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. okay, we're good. Don't panic, Pika Gam. We're okay. We're, we're between the two squishy platforms. I can even refill my delightful cloudiness both there and over here this is this right here is like a it, it's keeping you away from the star so what you want to do here is uh keep jumping over to the right and then align yourself up with the star there we go yeah <laughs> indeed. it's pretty hard to miss that comet medal actually <laughs> all right i mean like even if you were well, like, if you wanted to take a break in that middle area, like, to get that other cloud flower rather than use the wind draft to go up past that middle area, you'd still, once it closed together, you'd see the comet metal, so very, very hard to miss that one. <laughs> yeah, now that we got a star, a certain thing should happen. Ready? Ready? Whoa! Hey, bro! Everyone let me behind! I had to hustle to get up here. So hey, guess what? I decided to look for power stars too! If you see me out there, come say hi! I can help you save the universe! Oh man! L is real! I repeat, L is real! <laughs> I want to look for power stars too! Okay, you're just gonna repeat your dialogue, aren't you? Okay. Okay, that's fine with me. <laughs> Now, uh, is it gonna show... Oh, maybe it's not gonna show just yet. Maybe that was the event that I was thinking of. Well, you'll you'll know when it happens. In the meantime, though, let's go back over to Cloudy Court Galaxy and go feed that hungry Luma. Because it is waiting for a coin snack of 30 delicious golden beauties. So I'm gonna be jumping on enemies more than anything just to kind of get myself set. Whoa! set up here. Hey. Luigi! Hey bro, you're looking for a star on you, huh? Want me to take over for a little while? Yes, you can indeed actually please, Luigi! <laughs> sure, I'll show you how that works. Oh yeah! I'll collect this next star as Luigi. Oh, so he's a lot slipperier than Mario, but he can jump higher, and his jumps are a lot longer and floatier. But you gotta be careful with that slipperiness, because it's very easy to just slip off an edge in certain circumstances. So, yeah. And also, when you're swimming as Luigi, you can use up a lot of air quickly if you're spinning a lot. So I would be very careful of that. <laughs> just saying, because your air is kind of important. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Let's get ourselves... Over and collect some st Oh, jeez! That was weird. It's like, I, I just barely touched that, and it didn't, like, keep me on there. I guess maybe because of my slipperiness? Probably, maybe. Oh, there is more to see on this side. There's a whole life shroom hanging out over here, which could come, well, come in handy if I can touch it. There you go. <laughs> I'll be able to get that cloud flower down below, and oh, oh shoot, that's not good. I, I'm not gonna risk it, I'm just gonna go over here. 
There we go, I feel much safer now. <laughs> Let's not ruin our run after all. This is the first time we're playing as Ouija. We've gotta, we gotta make a good first impression. Can I change the camera to see what's behind? No, I can't, okay. Oh, I mean, I, I could, not from that... I couldn't from that angle, but I can from that other angle. Alright, going up. Squishing Goombas. See how much... See how floaty... Oh, see how floaty Luigi is? Yeah, you really gotta watch for that, as it's definitely something to get used to. But once you do, it becomes second nature, like, control <clears throat> like controlling Mario. And with the power of Luigi, we can also collect things a lot easier in some cases. So if you're having trouble making some sort of jump with Mario, you might want to switch to Luigi and just let his higher jump take over for you at the expense of, well, traction. Starve it! <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, more Starbits. More Starbits. So how many coins did we get out of that? I don't think we got 30, but there's... Uh, yeah, 28. But we know where the remainder of the coins are, because we've seen them on the other run. We can go right straight up there and collect a couple of coins and come back down. And then we are golden, just like the coins. One... And, oh, see the slipperiness? See that slipperiness? Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> Since I played as Mario for the most part, I'm not super, super used to the slipperiness, but I did get used to it to some extent. <laughs> Alright, so let's feed him. And... Go! Or her. Him or her. It's hard to tell. Like, I don't know. That's the stuff. I'm so full. Wow, I think I'm going to transform! Never said. Never says if it's a girl or a guy, but it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> a new planet was born, and that's all that matters in this case. <laughs> and of course, Launch Star comes with it. Uh, the pinky variety. But wait a second, what is this? Oh no! Don't fall in. Don't fall in, indeed. See, this is uh, this poison swamp here is more dangerous than lava. It'll actually one-hit kill you. And you're not gonna talk to me, sign? Okay. <laughs> Besides that, I guess. So don't- do not, and I repeat, do not fall in that during your Silver Star run here. <laughs> I think it's- this is called Silver Stars in the Purple Pond, if I recall correctly, and look who's here! It's the Shadow Clones of Doom! So, uh, you might- want to stay precise with your movement too just saying and also plan your movement I'm like I'm gonna stay towards the right side of the clouds here so I can safely move towards the left side of the clouds over here now I'm gonna go flip flop over here now I'm gonna go around this way because remember there's that other cloud series oh shoot uh, that's that's not good that's not good <laughs> there we go I just did a full loop now we're gonna go back down the uh, middle route here. Actually, wait, I thought, where's... Where's the last one at? <laughs> I totally missed where the last one was. Yeah! Um, I got cosmic clones on my booty here, causing me ire. Okay, so I was back over here on my loop around. Okay, so I just, I just didn't go one more cloud over, basically. And there we go! Woo! Now, though, still, don't fall into the goo. As a matter of fact, just to be extra safe... How does that star bit survive the poison? I don't know. Just to be extra safe, I'm gonna go back and get some clouds for my long jumps back. Just in case. There we go. <laughs> just so I have that little extra bit of safety. Thank you, Billboard. Thank you. Yeah! Victory is mine! And Ouija's! <laughs> I'll probably end up playing as Ouija for a bunch of stages here and there along with Mario. You know, switch switch between them to mix it up at times. A ghost has appeared in Cloudy Court Galaxy. What? What? What is... No, that can't be. Oh, a prankster comet has appeared! They have begun! They have begun! 
<laughs> so now, uh, prankster comets appear on previous galaxies that we've been to. Well, most previous galaxies we've been to. Uh, based on how many star medals you have, like the first one is one star medal, the second one is like two, third one is probably four, you know, it's very s small increments going up from there. So you, you don't really need to know how many medals you actually need to open the stuff, you just need to keep collecting all of the medals, you know, the comet medals to unlock all the stuff, because you need absolutely all of the comet medals to 100% this game anyway, so, yeah. A prankster comet has been spotted! Prankster comets can transform a galaxy into a wildly different place! Come to think of it, you've been collecting comet medals, right? Oh yeah. Collecting lots of those comet medals makes more comets appear. Now you can work on getting a star from every comet. Go for it, Captain! Yeah, alrighty. Oh, hey bro, I'm all over the place these days exploring the universe! Next time you see me out there, talk to me and let me leap into action! Okay, catch you later, bro! Woo! Yeah, we're back to Mario! Alas, alas, Ouija is gone. Ouija is gone. You're probably gonna say the same thing, but I'll talk to you again. Yeah, I figured. Alright. So, about that prankster comet, so let's see what one is like, shall we? So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go back over to, yeah, it was all the way back over here, did you see that on the world map? This, this sort of symbol here? Yoshi Star Galaxy. Let's do that. I, th well, mm, actually, didn't they say a ghost has appeared at, uh, some other... <laughs> Hold on, I just wanna see... Uh, no, let's just go, let's just do that one. I think, well, I'm already here. <laughs> I thought I'd have to start from the left side again. Alright. So, our first prankster comets, you can see what it's like. They all have different sorts of effects on the place. And, uh, what version is this? It's the spiny rainbow realm! Let's see what we have to do in this particular prank. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So many spinies, so little time. They're like a, a lot of them are just like little tasks that can be quite difficult. So we gotta get them all. We gotta kill all the spinies with the power of rainbows. Oh, that was that was just terrible. I thought I would not lose traction, <laughs> but I did. I figured I was in rainbow form. But we're okay. We'll, we'll still have plenty of time to kill all of them. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's just run into them and not waste too much time, if we can help it. I'm just gonna kind of divide and conquer areas, I guess. Oh boy. Oh man, I'm going up here. Oh jeez, that's not really efficient. <laughs> I'm gonna go back here and get these in the far reaches. I should also obviously be trying to collect star bits along the way too, but... Yeah, Prankster Comets uh, can transform a galaxy into something quite different than what it was the first time that you were through. Well, maybe not super, super different, but different enough and- oh, shoot, 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 shoot! Different enough uh, that you're gonna have an extra challenge to it. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, you the last one? You are! <laughs> so sometimes there's new layouts, sometimes there's new planets to come across, and basically they all lead to stars. <laughs> So it's, it's gonna be interesting getting all of those prankster comets cleared out, let me tell you. <laughs> but for now, we got that one done, and we can go on to another galaxy. And we'll probably pop back and forth between worlds uh, that have prankster comets that appear in them, just for the sake of, you know, get, gathering them as I go to get more stars added to our total as we go. And you notice, now the galaxy says it's complete. <laughs> yep, that's what we needed to finish off the galaxies that don't have the silver crown on them. Oh man. Oh no! <laughs> Should I do one more? Because it's it's because it's in the path that's that I'm going to next? Probably. So let's zoom out and go ahead on over here. Oh man, what's it gonna be? What's this one gonna be? <laughs> oh Jesus, so excited! I think it's a speed run, actually. I think I could be wrong though. 
Uh, oh no, the shadow lining. This is not a speedrun. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when I get into it. Now I remember what it is. It's like, what? What happened to this place? <laughs> this is totally different. Oh. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes, it's these. <laughs> when you get to the edge of a block, it's, I should say, when you get to the edge of a platform, it'll move those floaty giblets, or whatever you want to call them, that you stand on, over to where you might need to go. Maybe. So it's, it's kind of a matter of manipulating the shadow clones on paths that you don't even know exist yet. So that could be a pretty difficult little challenge. And you don't want to mess up here. There's shadow clones coming up while you're wall kicking, and you won't be able to get back up there very easily with them in your way. Uh, also, just keep your pace going too, obviously. Uh, no cloud flowers to be found here, so you gotta use their particular setup to get through. Oh man, oh man! <laughs> this almost does feel like a speedrun though, because, uh, is we have to keep moving, and that's all for the star. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that could have flooded the whole area with shadow clones. But we're okay, we made it. <laughs> so the comets, they have some of the most fun stars in the game, IMO. So that there, there's a lot more fun to come, as you'll see as time goes on the walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy complete as well! Isn't that a beautiful sight seeing that silver crown? Yeah! Oh man, Spindig's got one now! <laughs> the comments just keep on flowing! But for now, I think that's enough. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I maybe do some more comments and maybe check out new galaxies. Who knows? You'll have to see! <laughs>